Hi guys, I'm going to go over how to create your own infographic for our project that we're doing. You're going to use genial.ly or genially. Um, if you Google that, genial.ly, you'll get uh, the, the website, you'll get a login. We want to click on create your free account. Okay, you'll need to read the terms of use and privacy policy and click here. And then click continue with Google. You want to select your .org account, please. And you should get this screen. It might ask you to go through a little quick introduction, but eventually you'll get to this dashboard page. OK, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create your own Genially. And they have options. You can play with these if you'd like, but your assignment is for the infographic. Okay, they have quite a bit of options for infographics. They have vertical ones, horizontal ones, they have diagrams. Um, you may choose whatever you'd like, except one thing, you do need to, to choose a free one because I don't want anyone to pay for this. Okay, so click free, and that'll show you all the ones that are free. You can scroll down, see which one is gonna work best for your topic. I'm gonna go ahead and just go over how to use it with this one right here. Okay, notice it has some moving parts. You can change that movement and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, you can pick a different color palette. I'd like you to do that right here before you move on. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this middle one and click use this template. So that's gonna create your infographic structure. Now you just gotta add all the elements in. So all the information that you need. Okay, you want to change your title. You're going to come up with something way more creative than what I have. Gas Lob Project. Okay, you can change the word infographic if you'd like as well. All right, there's a bunch of little tags there. You can add them, delete them, um, whatever you'd like to do that's going to fit your information. You can type in a little bit about your gas law or whatever it is you're gonna cover in that part. Another thing that you can do is you can change how it moves. So if you click on something, there is a little blue bubble and you can click on that and you can tell it um, move as an entrance, move as an exit, continually move, only move when you hover over the mouse. Those are the things you can tell about it. Uh, you're going to tell it how you would like, what kind of effect you'd like. So. I can make it bounce, I could turn it on, I can rotate it, I can make it swirl, <laughs> and then uh, which direction. So right now mine for this number one is set to freeze, which means it's not going to move, but I could tell it, go ahead and move to the left. And when you do that, rotate down. Okay, so that's just the movement, kind of the fun part of it. Um, it already has its own movement, so you don't necessarily have to add that stuff, okay? All right, so the next part of this is adding content. Um, that's the movement on the left. You have this little finger point. That's how you add content, your interactivity. There's several options that you have. You can do a tool tip. This is for things where you have just a little bit of information. So maybe a, a sentence or two, add this tool tip in here. So next you have a window which is a lot more information. You can write a paragraph in here. You can add a picture in here. You can add a video in here. You can tell it to go to a separate page that you have created on Genially. So if you want, you can add a page right here on the left-hand side, but you can pretty much fit everything that you need to on this one page. So you probably will not need to do this one. All right, and then the last thing you can have a link. So if you want it to go to a separate website, just a straight, go to this page, there's the link. Okay, so let's just look at the options for the window. All right, for the window, you can type a big paragraph, you can change the text color, you can add emojis, you can insert a link again, you can add images, you can add a video, and then you can also add a table. I'm gonna go over adding an image. 
Okay, I can find that image online, save it, and then drag and drop it here. Or um, I can find the URL to that image and then paste it in here. For the video, same thing. You'll need to find the video, copy and paste the URL right here and click insert. Okay. Uh, let's say I want to change an image on here. So I'm not happy with this little alphabet and I want to replace that image. So I'll click on replace. There you have some options that you could use. Cutouts, Pixabay, Jiffy, scenes, illustrations. Let's click Jiffy this time. And I'm going to look for a hot air balloon. That one looks good. Replace it. There it is. <laughs> so there's my hot air balloon. I can uh, resize it. Let's see, that's not big enough. Nobody can see that. There we go. Um, I can also replace it with one of these, or you can do that from your computer. You can drag and drop a picture. You can use a URL, so you never have to save it to your computer. Just find the picture and then copy the URL to the picture and paste it right here. Okay, so again, you have several options of making this interactive. Okay, so this button's gonna be your friend right here, the one to the left. So let's say that you want another picture somewhere where it doesn't have a picture. Um, you can add an image right here. You can add more text here. You can add more interactive elements here. So there's a whole bunch of buttons that you can add to it. Um, let's say you wanna add something that's already there. So let's say I wanna add another picture. I can just do a control C and control V, copy and paste it. And now I have another picture. All right, so when you are finally finished with your infographic, you have everything that you need, you are going to publish it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna click on all set. Actually, before you publish it, you probably should preview it and name it. So let's name it, Gas Law Project. So just take a look at it, see how cool it is, see what things you don't like, maybe didn't line up correctly when it's in a bigger view. Okay. And then to publish it, you're gonna click on all set. Okay, if you, with the free account, you cannot make it a private site. You do have to publish it online. Um, you don't need to necessarily make it reusable. That is so that anyone else can use your template. So I'm just going to click all set. And then you don't want to download it. That's a premium plan. Plus, it's not going to be as interactive anymore. So don't download it. You can't anyways. You're going to want to share it. So you can get a custom link or you can share it through media. I'm just going to click view. So there's my project. It's published to the web and now I you can turn that into me. What you're going to turn in is this link right here. So you'll just copy and paste that into a Google Class Assignment. Um, and that is it. If you have any questions on this, uh, I can troubleshoot them with you. Just make sure you ask.